Most kinds of lizards have this daily schedule. Side blotch lizards in California certainly do. You can see from the colour of my face that my body is warm. That's because I've got a central heating system which I've fueled uh, with my breakfast. In fact, about 80% of what I eat is used in keeping my body temperature high and steady. These lizards, however, squander very little of the energy they get from their food on warming themselves. They, like the marine iguanas, get nearly all they need for that by basking on the warm rocks. And so important is the need for warmth that the females actually choose their males on the basis of which has the best underfloor heating. Each male sits on his pile of boulders doing press-ups to signal his ownership and to warn off other males. Intruders are confronted immediately and, if necessary, attacked. and the victor returns to sit on his wonderfully warm throne. Look at his rocky kingdom with a thermal camera and it's immediately clear why it's so precious. The rocks are very much hotter than the surrounding grassland and big tall ones catch the sun earlier and retain its heat longer. So not only does the sun warm him from above, his rocks do from beneath. The most powerful dominant male has, naturally, the best pile of rocks. And not surprisingly, almost all the females. But is it the males themselves or their assets that the females are interested in? To find out, let's move their hot rocks and give them to a subordinate male. The females quickly recognize that a more desirable residence has appeared in the neighborhood and start to move across. and the sex-starved wimp suddenly finds himself amazingly popular. So, the females do indeed go for the males with the hottest rocks. <laughs> 